and going right back to Walker. And he'll get this one down to about the 10 yard line. Call it a gain of a yard and it's going to bring up third and five. Sometimes you're aligned perfectly and the play comes to you. And sometimes you got to cover some ground to go make the play as we just saw there. We saw a great, great example of perseverance right there on that play. Got to be careful. They might want to throw one over his head as this game progresses. Two minutes on the clock in what's been a scoreless first half. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. Smith. This will be caught at about the five. And the Seahawks are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. And in a lot of ways, that catch is expected. Red zone presence, and that one was realized there. You've got to find your tight end in that situation. From the two, here's first and goal. Here's Walker. And they'll get him down just shy of the goal line at about the one. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Again, Walker. And he is in for the Seattle touchdown. Ken Walker taking it in from a yard out. And the Seahawks post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. Extra point up and through by Myers. And that makes the score 7-0. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. A fairly short kick from the 14. it in at the 13 and he's able to get it across the 20 to the 25 yard line coming to the line here to begin their next drive the Seahawks offense as they take over with exactly one minute to go here before intermission now Gino on first down tries to get it to Metcalf, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Jason Barrett. You can easily see the logic. It's a tie game. They just wanted to press it a little bit right before the half, hoping to get one more score. Yeah, easy to second guess the result, but now you have to think after that interception, just a field goal, and they're behind at the break. Yeah, I think at the half, the head coach just says, look, that's on me. I wanted to press it, but it's because I believe in you guys. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Hey, it's not the most spectacular play, but I think most teams will take that every single time for the first play of a drive. Begin the series with positive yardage and set yourself up for a very manageable second down. Steps away. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Well, he's smart enough to avoid the taunting rule, but I'll guarantee he quietly has told them, you might want to stop coming after me downfield because I just broke up another pass and took away a big shot that you were trying to succeed with. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Now the Seahawks call the second of their three timeouts as the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. And the 39-year-old veteran puts it right through, and they take the lead here now at 10 to 7. 
So the interception set him up with terrific field position, but three points, the end result. Yeah, we can make this one pretty simple, partner. You always want to end drives with points, but that's one that you're going to look back on and probably say, we should have done better there. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Now a timeout. Seven seconds left in the first half. 19 19 Throwing on second and long. Smith. That's complete to DK Metcalf. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth, ready for quarter number three. It's the 49ers out in front, and they will get the football first as well as we are back and started in the second half from the 10. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys, they're tinkering like crazy. What's it going to take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. And he's going to have a Niners first down as he's got this up to about the 34-yard line. Getting had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping right. one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. They stay on the ground. McCaffrey again. And he'll rumble for about five, up close to the 40. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Shotgun handoff now to McCaffrey. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And he's going to take this all the way down to the Seahawks 23-yard line. A big pickup of 38. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. First down, here's Mitchell. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run-pass option. You get the sense the next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? Throwing on second and eight, Lance. He'll get this out right here to McCaffrey. And he'll be marked down right at the 15-yard line. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. They'll try and pick it up with Mitchell. And he will have the first down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. Now a timeout called for by the defense. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. They'll send a receiver in motion to the right. Hey, 
They'll run with Mitchell. And only about a yard there as he takes it from the nine to the eight. The yards may start getting a little tougher to come by down here near the goal line. That's good work defensively there on first down, holding them to a short gain. So they've been in the red zone three times, and it's yielded just three points. Can they find the end zone here on second and goal? Lance looking to throw it. Caught on the slant. Touchdown, 49ers. Brandon Ayuk from eight yards out. And the Niners take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Gold able to tack on the extra point, and his guys will take a 10-point lead. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. Fields this way up at the 17, and he's going to get this across the 20 as he's out of bounds at the 23. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And the opposition laid down the challenge and opening drive touchdown here to start the second half. And Charles, now you feel like this group needs to get an answer because this all of a sudden is a two-score game. Yeah, you're right about that. What was a small, magical spread to overcome? A little bit more daunting now. I think you're exactly right. Pressure is on because you don't want them getting the ball back with a chance to really extend this lead out. And it pushes way forward to about the 32. On third down, here's Walker. And he's going to be stopped short of a first down as he'll get to him at about the 33. They'll run for it. It's Walker. And they will touch him down, but not before he gets the first. So a moment to catch our collective breath after the fourth down conversion. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. They'll try the air now with Smith. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. He'll get 10 there all on his own, but it'll be second down. Well, it certainly appears to me that the defensive guys are starting to look a little bit tired while well, he still has some fresh legs. Not the biggest gain we've seen on a scramble, but still, some positive yardage on a play that initially looked like a sure win for the defense. And Smith's throw into the hands of Lockett. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Now Gino. This is the tight end fan. And they're going to get this down inside the 15. Throwing again on second down. Smith. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked off by Jason Barrett.